Hi, welcome to Living Wild. On this week's show, my family goes on a rabbit hunt. We go foraging for some high bush cranberries and I'm gonna bring it all together in the kitchen. Wish me luck. Good morning, everyone. Today we're back up here in North Bay, Ontario and our dad promised us that he has a nice little surprise for us so I can't wait to see it. Well, okay. <laughs> I see your face smile. There you go, my friend. Since you are a good hunter, shoot some rabbits. It's gonna be hard to see them because there's some snow on the ground. Mate, Jessica's gonna help us. Jesse, are you gonna help us to catch some rabbits? Don't waste my time. It's a beautiful morning, so we are gonna have a luck. Okay, guys, we are at the farm. If this is the rabbit, we should it only rabbit. So, now I know my dad's officially crazy. Takes my baby sister, four years old, on a rabbit hunt. Who does that? Don't shoot the rabbit if you don't see Jessica, or mom, or me. We took my little sister hunting, but we made sure she was 20 yards behind us. My mom was holding her hand, and honestly, do you really think I would raise a shotgun to my shoulder without knowing exactly where she was or if she's safe? Now we're gonna go slowly inside that bush and just keep the eyes open. Come on, guys. Of course, I take Jessica Rabbit Hunt. She has to know where the food comes from. She is the smart kid. I show her farm, wild berries, mushrooms. Now she knows food doesn't come from the supermarket. Rabbit Hunt is relatively easy. It's a good place for a young hunter to learn how to hunt. Yeah, Calvin, did you see it? It's underneath the tree. It's just sitting there. Point it in. I'm gonna shoot after you if you don't shoot it. Good! <laughs> Finally, my son proved he's the good shooter. One rabbit, one island, one rabbit. Oh, I'm swearing. Good, Calvin. I'm very happy, so... Well, let's walk around and see if the... Spirit of the forest is gonna help us to get like you know a couple more. We can okay. face them. So uh, yeah, I'm just gonna push up over there. Yeah, go slowly around, and we're gonna go back this way because there's a lot of fallen trees, yeah. so they may hide underneath. And like you see, I am pleased what you're doing, and you're learning very fast. You yeah. have a good eye. Yeah. So walk slow, yeah. stop, look around because sometimes they move, sometimes they freeze. Yeah. So they are very smart. And look at white. You think this is the piece of snow, but it's not. Which way is he? Tata. Ah, uh, he's, oh, there he is. Back him up, walk around. Right, now we're even, now we have one each. Yes, sir. Let's go this way, because we're gonna go around that long island. Oh, this looks like a good place for a bunny to hide. And that's how I like it. Take the kid away from the city, First, they're kicking back, they don't like it. Now he will really enjoy it. So, I think I do something right. Now we're gonna get something back. Uh, I'll do it. Come. You see this? Yeah. This we're is going. the growth. Uh, people call this shaggy. This yeah. stuff. A lot of people using for different stuff, for, like a medicine, especially for a cancer. I was pretty rattled about the rabbit hunt, but I was really curious in this chaga mushroom and how people think it could help cure cancer. It's very expensive and it's hard to find. This growth grow on the yellow birch or on the white birch. In the dead of winter, you would think this would be the only trip that we would have where my dad doesn't go foraging yeah, for mushrooms. Inside. But yet, he ends up finding one where a nut would find one, in a tree. Holy smoke. That's a big one. Ah! <laughs> Did you find some wood? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, there's another one growing up here. In a couple years, I'll be back and get more. What is that? 
Where's the car? Sika to Sika. Hey, well, today went very well, other than it being really cold, which didn't really bother us that much, but we got two very nice rabbits. My dad showed me how to skin them and gut them, which will come in handy a lot. And you know, right now I'm just gonna sit here and warm up by the fire and I will see you guys later on by the dinner table. Hey Mike, what are those berries over there? They look like cranberries. Maybe they're high bush cranberries. Are they poisonous? Okay, well, the internet says they are high bush cranberries. Oh. High bush cranberries are full of vitamin A. They taste better before first frost, but they could be picked all winter long. Calvin, we're gonna use these in the rabbit recipe. Help me, well, do you think there's gonna be any more? Probably more in the bush, yeah. First, I take the cell phones away from them. Now, I see they're using cell phones as a learning tool. I was so happy when they show up with the high bush cranberry for a rabbit. So they learn something. Ew, how do you like How do you like that? Calvin, it's not about what they taste like now, it's what it tastes like when I'm done with them. Well, they're out of season, they're better to pick during November, but you know what, they might be useful in our rabbit recipe. Wait, you like them that much? They're not bad. Dome City boys, I guess I'm gonna have to stop calling them that. Calvin, grab those containers. These ones? Yeah, okay, toss me one. Go. Oh, thank you. We're gonna pick some more and then we're gonna go and make our dish. Look over here. There's a whole bunch of them on the tree. We still need more. Look how many there are over here. Here, look, come. Why do I have to go? Just keep on picking, Calvin. We still need more, what are you doing? Here. All right, buddy. Keep on picking, I'm gonna start uh, cooking, bye. What? No? What do you mean, no? You're helping me. I'm preparing everything. Jessica really enjoyed the rabbit hunt. Spending time with us. At the same time, she visited the goat farm. She really enjoyed to feeding the goat. So we're gonna feed the goat? Yes. Look at this. They're waiting for you. Give me that. I'm so happy. Put two hands. My sister and farm animals. Beautiful thing. Fun to watch. We take Jessica to the small community event when they have a horseback riding for the kids. Oh gosh. Wow. Did you like it? Say thank you. Hey! So what is better, car or horse? Horse. Horse. So we're gonna sell the car and buy the horse, okay? The horse is too big. He's gonna eat my flowers. If you like it. I like the horse. I need a lot more wood than that. No. What do you mean, no? Kevin, I need more wood. No. Okay, go get some more wood, honestly. No. You know, my brother cooks for us, so you know what? I don't mind bringing him wood. But just the way he asks, it's like he treats me like I'm his personal slave or something. Aww, oh, are you getting a bit hot headed here? Come here, let me fix that for you. No? Here, 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 here. Maybe that will cool you down. Now go get some more wood. No, you know what? Wood. I need it to cook, but God forbid I ask Calvin to bring me some while he's goofing off. He'll throw this huge hissy fit, run away, like I don't get it. He wants to eat, but he can't get me wood. Where are you going now? I'm going home. It's five and a half hours by car, buddy. I hope you know that. Okay, take care. 
When Calvin walked down that laneway, I wasn't worried. I knew he wouldn't get far. It's a three and a half hour car ride, hitchhiking maybe a day. If the snow in the face didn't cool him off, I knew a nice little walk would. I don't know where Calvin is. He's not at the cottage. He would start going down the driveway and I can't see him anymore. He got really pissed off and I think he's trying to hitchhike back to Toronto. He wants to hitchhike back to the city. What is wrong with him? Hey, Horsey, do you want to come to Toronto with me? Yeah? Okay, I'm taking you to Toronto with me. We gotta make this quick. I looked up, I see the Calvin on the top of the horse. Never mind, never mind, I see him. Fine, he's your problem now, you deal with him. He tried to ride away. Come on, Toronto's that way. Dumb city boy. Wow, even you're against me too now? You don't even know me. Calvin, what are you doing on the horse? Go. No. Get out from the horse, no, I look at all over city. for you. You're not going back to the city, no. you're going to the cottage. No. Get out from the horse. The car is up there. I see you in the car. I don't gonna want to talk about it. The fact that my brother almost stole a horse didn't really bother me at all. What bothered me was my dad, he took him home like nothing happened. Like he could have got arrested and brought to jail. But you know, it's okay. <sighs> Dumb city boys. Oh God. I didn't make a big fuss about it because what Calvin did is so embarrassing. He punished himself. Honestly, I knew that I wasn't gonna take the horse. I just really want to see if I can make it go. Hi, welcome to the Living Wild Kitchen. Today we're gonna be doing rabbit. This rabbit is actually my brother's first wild game that he harvested. Calvin's rabbit was really nice. As a cook, I really appreciated the fact that they brought me a fresh rabbit to work with. Honestly, as soon as I gave Mike my rabbit, I just developed the biggest craving ever. I just couldn't wait to taste it. Rabbit. I love rabbit. This is the most tasty dish from the forest. We're gonna start off by making a marinade for the rabbit. So we're gonna start off with a teaspoon of thyme, a teaspoon of marjoram, a teaspoon of black pepper, 10 juniper fruits. I already crushed mine, just pop those in the bowl. Tablespoon of mustard. After the tablespoon of mustard, I'm gonna be using some extra virgin olive oil. So all you need is half a cup of this. After that's done, all you want to do is just stir it up so all the ingredients are mixed together. As soon as you finish that, get your rabbit. I'm just going to pour it over my rabbit and I prefer to massage it in with my hands. You could use a brush by all means, but I prefer using my hands. So just massage it in and this mixture will give your rabbit tons of flavor. As soon as you're done massaging the marinade into your rabbit, you're gonna put the rabbit in the fridge so the meat absorbs all the flavor. So here's a rabbit that I marinated. It was sitting in the fridge and it's just, it looks beautiful actually. So what we're gonna do now is get one white onion, cut it into slices. I have about a cup full of our high bush cranberries, so we're just gonna put those inside a rabbit and we're gonna cook them. Get your onion slices and we're just gonna put it on top of our rabbit and around it. I'm gonna be baking the rabbit in a liquid that I'm gonna prepare right now and it's gonna help keep the rabbit moist and give it flavor at the same time. So we're gonna start with half a cup of butter, teaspoon of rosemary, Half a teaspoon of black pepper, half a teaspoon of salt, teaspoon of thyme leaves, perfect. And now this is where the fun part comes in because I get to use 
my dad's favorite wine. So we're gonna take this white wine and we're gonna put a cup and a half of it inside our little mixture. It's going to really bring out all the flavors that we put in with our rabbit. And last but not least, we're gonna have one cup of table cream. So now that our rabbit's done, you're just gonna put the tin foil back on, pop it in the oven, but make sure your oven's preheated to 180 degrees Celsius. Leave it in the oven for about 20 minutes. After the 20 minutes, flip it, and then you're gonna wanna cook it for another 30 minutes. Now that the rabbit's in the oven, like I said before, you're gonna leave it in there for 20 minutes up until you have to flip it. And then after you flip it, it's gonna be about 30 minutes to 40 minutes until your rabbit's fully done. In that time, I'm gonna prepare a salad with some dressing and we're gonna serve that with our rabbit. And we're also gonna make some rice that goes along with the whole entire dish. The salad that I'm gonna be making is really exotic just because the main dish, it has a really big twist and I don't think a normal salad would fit into what we're gonna be doing. So we have one full apple, just cut up into slices that we're gonna be using. Doesn't matter which uh, type of apple, we used a nice green one. We got some cantaloupe. We're just gonna use a nice little bowl full. Next is about a quarter of a papaya, one of those big ones. Next, we have one prickly pear. So what we're gonna do is cut it up into little pieces. and just toss it in. We have some blackberries. Since they're a lot bigger than everything else that we have, I'm just gonna cut all the blackberries in half. Our last ingredient is a peach. We're gonna be using a white peach. We'll be dicing the peach. It might seem like it's a very long dish, but it only takes about 30 minutes to make. Once the peach part is done, we move on to the lettuce. Just top off the salad completely and then you're good to go. We're gonna move on to the dressing. And I know some of my viewers, they enjoy watching me do crazy things. So this dressing is going to be completely outrageous. I'm gonna start off the dressing by adding one cup of beer. Doesn't matter what brand you use, just a cup of beer and we're good to go. Half a lemon, squeeze it inside. Half an orange, just squeeze it inside. Dressing. And our last final thing is going to be a teaspoon of black pepper. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour some dressing onto our salad and then mix it all together and then we're gonna go check on our rabbit. What I'm doing now is I'm just getting some of the liquid and I'm pouring it on top of the meat just so it doesn't dry out. As soon as that's done, I'm gonna pop it back in for 30 to 40 minutes. The cover doesn't have to be on for the last 30 to 40 minutes. You could just pop it right back in. Now that our salad's done, our rabbit's cooking, we're going to do one last thing and it's going to be pineapple fried up, breaded in coconut, and we're going to serve it with our rabbit. So what I'm going to do now is just take off the outer layer. Once you took off the skin of the pineapple, just cut it into nice slices. Once that's done, there's just going to be a little tiny circle there. That's the core of the pineapple. Just cut it out quickly. Now that you slice your pineapple into nice slices, you're going to want to break an egg because we're going to be breading our pineapple. Just beat it. Egg. Coconut. And just bread it nicely. Be generous. And then once they're done, you're just going to fry them up. You're gonna wanna make it so it's nice and golden brown on both sides. It just smells absolutely amazing. Everything's perfect, then boom, the lights go out. That's solar power for you. You gotta make sure you don't turn too many lights on or else you end up like us, with no power. Okay, buddy, this is your rabbit that I cooked. Yay. What do you mean, yay? Be happy. Here, yeah. you start cutting it. <laughs> Couldn't wait for that rabbit, yes? I'm gonna know, help rabbit. you out because I can't wait. Well, let's see how tasty Michael prepared that rabbit. That's your rabbit, get me the plate. Michael, it smells delicious. Did you taste it? It's fall mm. off the bone, it just rips right off, it's nice. Mm. I highly recommend the pineapple. It's working out very well with that rabbit. Mm -hmm. mm. 
How do you like your rabbit? I truly do love this, Michael. Can't get it any better. I didn't know the rabbit would come up that good. Mm. And that salad, the exotic salad, mm. is really go with it. I think this is one of the better dishes that I've ever made. Mm -hmm. Yes, you're right. I'm happy. I can't wait to have more. Well, next time you're gonna have to hunt some more. If you cook it the same way you did now, well, I'll, I'll stay out all day to get more. Jessica, you like my rabbit? <laughs> you did an amazing job, Michael. Thank you. I honestly really do love it. You may have noticed, my family is not always politically correct and does things that, quite honestly, I sometimes find embarrassing. The truth is, with everything that they do, their hearts are in the right place. And to me and my family, that is what truly matters. I'm happy everybody likes the meal. And thank you for the rabbit. Next time you're going to be hunting more often. Okay. We'll cook some more recipes like this. It's perfect. Mm -hmm. Stay tuned till next time on Living Wild. As you could all see, up here in Canada, it's still winter. So on next week's show, we're going ice fishing. See you then.